Hello, this is Jess, and I am featuring Tanyon Street here in Negros Oriental, boundary sa Manhuyot o Sabindoy. This area, Padong ni Sabindoy, a part of Negros Oriental, where you will pass Manhuyot as the central municipality, Gikan sa Dumaguete. So, ikompas ni nato siya. Somewhere north ni siya sa Padong sa Luzon. And ang atbang is ang Cebu. In which diha na to makita ang ubang laing features nga wala pa na to makita. Such as Malabuyok. So, if, na, if I'm not mistaken ha. So, this is one of my Negros Diaries Part 2. My first video was created katong a cliff ngadto sa Tanyon Street Cafe in which makita ang nindot nga panganod hasta ang mga lumulupyo sama sa mga mananap sama sa langgang this spot the plane is sa dan in which yes that's my motorcycle and this is kilido ni sa cliff sa dalan in which ang mga Motorista sama sa bus, sa series o mga private cars and private motor vehicles mag-agi pa dong sa Bindoy, Ayungun, Gihulnyan, and Escalante. Hindi siya maklaro pero ito pa ang other parts in Negros. As you can see, naisakyanan. Ni Agi. At night, wala ay kuha niya rin ka na wala ay suga. So, dapat ang mga motorista, headlights on yun sila per me. Because, tawakin rin siya sa pang pang. One thing about I like Negros is it's really full of kuan, creatures nga wala pa na ako makita. Other like um what I can say, um, other like, uh, makita nato sa Alban Islands, pero na uban nga, wala dyan makita nga rin. Like, for example, the monkey eating eagle, makita nga to sa may manhuyod, in which the plantation of a big company is manufactured like sugar canes. I am under the tree. Akasha. Yes, they like it here because kanina sa Negros is that most of the citizens of Negros are farmers and fishermen and less ra ang industrial companies nga rin. Like, pinakadako nga rin nga plantation is from Orsumco. Orsumco na siya before karon is URC or Universal Urbina Corporation in which they manufacture uh, sugar canes from sugar canes into sugar. So, as we all know, from the recent times nga, due to diabetes, ang ato ang kuan ka ng ang ato ang health, life, health and lifestyle is very dependent on carbohydrates. So, muna nga, sa ato ang mga balaod karon gi patas ana og mga at least 20% sa ato ang food because di ta gana magkasakit later on tungod sa ato ang weather atong weather is composed of summer and winter season or rainy season which is different from other countries in which they have four seasons like winter summer fall and spring ngan hi sa ato aduhara that is why most of the foreigners wanted to be here because of the great and intense heat na maka replenish or maka kanang stimulate sa hormones of koan happy hormones like ngano maka happy hormones man because they see sunlight in which different from other countries nga four seasons mag change change ilang attitude in which they most of the foreigners will um, foreign people from other countries would go to tropical countries because of 
um, hormonal imbalances due to weather and food. So if we tackle that obus obus period, in which it will tell into mental illness, our environment such as this one and such as this one in which Philippines is very dool sa koan sa dagat and then dool sa sa pang pang or sa na in nature makabal in which uh, lahi siya sa other countries because lagi on dagat puno og trees niya there is a chemical ba chemical uh, there is a chemical reaction between kanang the uh, the heat of the sun nga mo add to sa tung sa tung dagat which will cause um a therapeutic effect sa to atanan and then that's what we call sea breeze so where did i learn from this it's because um for personal experience like may ngon ang katigulangan at tungo sa dagat kay aron imong samad maayo imong hika maayo it's because salt water has a therapeutic effect tungo sa ilang pagkamaligamgam or uh, pagka kuan ganang maligamgam ang water in which gika siya sa init niya mutuslo bang sa kataw there is a chemical reaction between the body inside us the homeostatic balance para mo turn back into normal functioning if we if we tackle more on anatomy and physiology, our body is composed of sodium and magnesium and other elemental ions that will or compromise our body to be functioning well. And naasa dagat ang kaparihan niya og element which is sodium. So mo na siya nga, most of the people especially kanang na work work workload na to grabe kayo sa work niya we only have two or one day to put a rest and then everybody goes to the seashore para mag enjoy it's because a dip from the sea is also a therapy what therapy is that it's called salt water therapy in which ngagi imitates urban countries like sauna kanang nasan nga sa negros kito sa valencia atong Sauna like and ang kining magbukal bukal ang init sa yuta niya mo pagawas na ng toxins sa lawas so mo na siya and sa ubos kabantay mo si Manong hi yeah nagfish siya sa kilit so there is a kuan um there is a uh, issue about sea territories. Are, because at bang ang Cebu, ngari ang Negros, so mag-away daw sa kuan is da bahin sa natural resources sa sea. So, we uh, we will imitate this issue from South China Sea and West Philippine Sea. So, what if it happens nga koan ka nang mag-ilog sa kadagatan pero there are other uh, regions nga naghimo og sea culture in which makita nato sa sunod when we go home from here in it's, it's in manhuyod nga nag culture na og mga uh, sea sea or natural resources para dili ta mag-ilog sa mga pagkaon nga naa sa sea kay as we can see it's about mga 50, 50 to 50 kilometers away from Cebu on Dagat. Ano siya kalaya? And everybody is, um, especially the lawmakers, we don't want to have kana away or away sa territories because. We can, if we really wanted to know about um, sea and land territories, ang atong mga kauban sa makita, mga, mga, mga lulupyo sa kadalaing isla, mo yung laot. Okay. Nag-ilog sa lamang dagat, pero 
what ay mahimo tungod kay tungod sa balaod og territorial sea and I think na ani siya sa kuan arali panlipunan na to yeah bisay tong overseas og law mo I hope mo ano ni ato ang kuanon kana atong siguro on kung asa ko to ang territorial sa land og sea kay mo na siya ang gi gilalisan karon sa current events nato sa atong balita nga nganong walay territory ang Philippines nga giilugan man sa China pero we are we're not against about it it's just that kuan lang ba we must know our rights and mo natong gibuhat sa to ang Fili uh, recent nga government institution nya we make friends with other countries para maka hibaw kung asa ko tumatong limitations o asa tamo fight for our rights as inhabitants of this island and other countries. So, this is it. So, and one thing, uh, when I was a child, mga 6 years old or 4 years old, Dili pa no pa ko kita ina ni, lagi pa ni ina ni sa una. Nga to sa mo okay. Kuan pa lang kanang ah uh, bato-batoon pa ang da dalan ya. Yeah, Permi ko ma takil po masamad yung ko ato pero ingnan ko gusto akong mamaglulo nga barog. Ayo paguyod. So, realize ko ba nga I'm already six years old or far for so kabalo na ko on si sakto di so here in Negros everybody is is koan ka nang trained to be independent because what if parents are not awake kitong na nga tos bukid na narbaho na nagat on sa ang mga bata so bata pa ko while my parents are um working in Cebu I also have a neighbor with me na who always take care or watch out whenever I'm gone or whenever I'm not ako sa balay. So, it made sense na nidako na ko. People here are very religious na. Like, they have different uh, different churches in which naka-realize ko nga, wow, people are so religious in here. And even though they have different types of um, beliefs, but they still work hand in hand in order to feed each and everyone's family. So, mona siya na kaninit mo sa Negros is that everybody's welcome, but they wanted to know if which concept or which values do you prefer in order for you to become one of them. But for me, for me, ah, ako, it's not that I'm pro-Catholic, pro, 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 uh, born again Christian or unsa pa, but I believe na one day kita tanan mo magkahiusa lagi hapon because we only believe in one Bible. Yara tamagkuan sa ato ang resources bang ha, asa tamabilong, like for example. Most of us here sa Philippines, malarga sa laing nasod. Because we felt like we don't belong here. We're searching for ourselves kung asa ta. It's the same as the churches that represents here in Negros. And even though in the census, 80 million, 80 million are Roman Catholics. But because they find their true beliefs they tend to deviate from the Roman Catholic and put a church to stay on their principles that made them unique. But still they do not, um, we do not um, uh, stay away from the Roman Catholic regime, but they, we put it as a, a learning grounds, as a standard basis of our uh, religiosity or be, or being a Catholic if, or being a belief of being a Catholic so Mona siya. so I'm not against with everyone okay kita tenan we only believe in one Bible and then 
what can we save is we save others through the word of God but when we lie in our uh, kabaong we still God is still the final say are you with me or not ganun niabot mo ko sa pagka religiosity is because um, I like the people here because they're so kugihan and then when they have time like farming they have also other types of resources like kung, kung harvesting time uh ato sila mag harvest niya na sila other source of income ni kahapon mang uli mang lagat ambing na mo na siya nga it's really joyful yun nga Kuan ba? They work hand in hand uni, uh, universally here, especially here in Negros Oriental. And then, I have also an issue when I came here. Daghan kay silag mga terrorists nga ni open about um, social dis destruction because of unheard voices from the mountains. So, I hope na. Even though there are mass killings nga na sa Mindanao and then napon yari sa Negros, it's because of unheard voices sa mga nag-alsa, nag -nang -alsa because of siguro as per opinion kanang well, we need to see we need to um, uh, we need to hear first what the other um, people want to say or what it, what they wanted to know because if, uh, when I came here nagpinatyanay na like namatay ang governor niya sunod governor namatay na sa Murag. there's a problem here it's that we need to focus on ba and then aside from that people here are really really learn wants to learn more and that's what they wanted to know because um as as people who are farmers and fisher mo mostly because this is an agricultural land rich in um rich natural resources they wanted to learn more because of they search for something that they wanted to be with. Like, ganahan sila nga, Uy, I want to know this. Please tell us more. And then, we'll make become friends. So, why are some neg Negros people migrate? It's because they want to search. Like for us, we we want to search more products and then mag sharing and like a bountiful blessing ba so this is my neg uh negros diaries part two so Katunga to makita nga rin, gikan to sila sa somewhere part in Occidental and gikan na sila sa Cebu and and koan ka na fight na sila o ka na mga food food trucks towards other areas in Negros for uh, for marketing and ka na mamaligya o goods nga gikan sa Cebu and other parts of the Philippines. And there are two um, ports here sa Negros nga naglink sa Cebu o sa Negros. And that's what we'll tackle soon after my vlog. Thank you for listening even though um, I don't see myself. But wait. So... So, this is again the Tanyan Street. 
a boundary a boundary C from Negros and Cebu sa kung ato ni siyang ikuan sa map na siya sa west sa Cebu this is beautiful here ano siya ni Indot yun eh So, bye for now and enjoy. Happy Fiesta!